Every time, every time you shut it down, you got to redo it. As a matter of fact, it won't reconnect until you take everything out. Okay. Now, you shut it down, Oh, that that it's gonna it's gonna lose. You got you gonna have to do it. Okay, but still, no, you that's have to exit out because it won't reconnect until you exit out. Okay. Now, what I was what I was trying to do, the way they said, because I used to exit out all the time in my home. When you go down, you know, yeah. you know shut it down. Yeah. When you go to that side. You still when you open it back up. You still gotta do it. You gotta do but, it. But but when you cut it off, cut it off like that. I don't I don't do it on this one. Oh, okay, okay. But on 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 this one that, that runs there. Okay. You have, you have to. That's yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, I got it. That's, that's a, a monitor. Yeah. Okay. Because I would once it hook up, I would just leave it hooked up so when you go back in there all you have to do it. Yeah. But it won't do that. Oh you got how It don't want to find that TV. Okay. It's looking for it, but it ain't finding it. Go to it. Yeah. It just ain't finding it. That's really not be unplugging it and doing it right.
Father, we come to you today saying thank you. Thank you for everything that you have done and that you will do. Not only in my life, Father, but as well as that you said. Father, I want to thank you for another day. Another day that has never been seen before, Father. I just want to say thank you. Father, you've just been so good. So good to all, for all of us, Father. To our good times and bad times, Father, you're still there. Father, you want to go behind prison walls. Go behind. Go into the nursery, home, Father. Know that you're still there, Father. You know that they do have faith in you, Father. They do believe, Father. You have a lot of disbelief to say, Father, but you are in existence, Father. With your grace and your mercy. And you know, that's enough to be thankful for, Father. Just to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I pray for my pastor, pray for my church family. Everybody, but Father, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And we continue in prayer. Hold on. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you and come to the sign of the Father. Saying thank you, first of all, for all things. What's done in our past, what you're doing now, and what you have yet to do. Thank you, Lord, for being so kind and merciful. Thank you, Lord, for your amazing hands. Thank you for deliverance, restoration, your healing, your cures, your miracles. Lord, help us, Lord, to read your word daily, Lord God. Help us to study your words to improve ourselves, oh Lord. Help us to be more kind, more loving, more compassionate, Lord God. Lord, help us to be content in whatever state you are in. Well, Lord, we know well, that you are in control. Well, we know that you will do the best for us. Lord, we pray for the one who will read it, Father. You said you would get comfort. So we have no comfort for happen. You know who all that are. You know the ones that still struggle with the devil. Who love one who cares for a child, Lord. But we know that they're in a better place. And we thank you, Lord, for the time we get to them. Lord, help us, Lord, to do your blessing for No matter what things look like or feel, we know that you are in total. But I'm all this in our lives. You're the will to live for real. You're writing what's not. You're the Prince of Peace. You are the great I am. We know that you are the one that you would love to care for us. So we're going to put our trust and our faith in you. Because we know that the victory is called ready. So we're going to walk in our victory in you, Jesus. Lord, help us, Lord, to be ones and Lord, so everybody going through something. And everybody going to deal with the same way. Lord, so we just say thank you, Lord. 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 Because if we never get down, we would never know that you would lift us up, Father. Yes. If we had never been without food, we would have never known what it would be like to be hungry, Father. Yes. Right. If we had never been out in the streets homeless, we would have never known what the homeless are going through, Father. Yes. Lord, help us to have the, the kind of God we love, that kind of peace that passes all of us. Yes. Help us to help somebody. Yes. Lord, help us to tell somebody about you. Lord, I'm not ashamed of this. Lord, help me. Help me, but you want me. That would make I should be. What I should be, what I should say, how I should act. But you want me. I'm what you believe for. Lord, help us to, to be uh, doing the ministry that you have set for us. Lord, that would be thankful. But we're going to have a little talk with you so yes. we'll know what we're supposed to be doing. Yes. Because it might feel good or sound good. We want to be in, in, uh, on one accord with your will and your way, yes. your purpose. Yes. So you can have it by the seat and not us. Yes. I know you don't like a proud look, Lord. I pray that we don't have a proud look, Father God. Yes. But that's why Satan says that. Yes. Your angels. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. So we want to be humble and meek. Yes. Lord, help us to have a certain heart. You have us to have us to have a servant's heart. Yes, yes. Lord, help us to talk to people, one another, right, Lord. And if we think we've done something wrong, or 
We don't bend our brother or sister. Let us go to him. Let us go to him. Yeah. Oh, you had a chance. You know, I was wrong. I should have said that. I should have done that. And then yeah. you come to your home where Cecilia and Ashley and Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. So I think men marriages, men relationships, and he's still alive.
might not want to take it out of you to get it today. So we'll need it if, you, if you're coming, you need to have your ticket. So we won't have to be going to the household uh, trying to prove that uh, you already got your ticket. And now, we're going to make sure we're going to get the tickets out today. Fruits of the Spirit on the fourth Sunday. We will not have it because I forgot to call the preach. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it happens. Amen. I'm 39, so. So, I, I didn't think it would be fair to him. Because I, and, and then and by the time I talked about calling the meeting, I heard it had some schedule in it. So, I said, oh, well. But we will still ask you to give your first fruit offering on the fourth Sunday during our Sunday, our morning worship service. So whatever you are going to do, do it then. Now, the Bible says, you know, uh, he required that you bring of the first fruit, first month of the year. First fruit. What do you anticipate? So let it be your first fruit. You want to prosper? Then you have to be generous. First fruit. Now some of y'all that don't apply to because you're generous anyway. Others you're debating on whether you're going to get it back. But you you have to understand something. A lot of times when you get to God and you expect nothing in return. That's when you get your greatest or your most significant blessing. You can't give God too much. Because he figures out how to give it back. And it comes and, and press down, shaking up. Starting next month, uh, we're going to try to make 
make sure that we have something going on uh, concerning our 100th anniversary celebration. Next month, Black like History Month, I think we're going to take one of those Sundays and do something that's Black History related. And we're also going to be asking the children to do some stuff that's related to the history of the church. 100 years is a lot of history. And we just want to amplify some of those things that have happened over that 100 year history. Uh, I know we are going to be talking to a couple of folks, uh, Sister Griffin, uh, Sister Jet, uh, Sister Tony, uh, and some others that have been around. Uh, Sister Sweat, she's been around here a long time. She know uh, a lot of these folks because she's been joining the 39. Still here, still kicking. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I know some of y'all, uh, y'all don't want to join the 39, but you, I trust you, you want to get in that 39 club. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. I ain't quite there yet, but I'm going to get there after five. Like he normally does. And made it 
to his steps and drop it. And that was it. So, you don't have to be sick to leave here. Amen. When it's your time. It's your time. You gonna leave.
we all realize that love is an action. I know it is. Yeah. I know it is. Yes, yes sir. sir. Without a doubt. Yes, sir. The old song says, I'll go. If the Lord wants somebody, here am I. Oh, yes. Send me. Send me. Thanks be to God our Father for his blessing and for his mercy. Yes. His truth and do it to all right? Yes. We're thankful and grateful. Says, but Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people. Very simple thought. I will go. I will go. All right. Amen. I will go. Ruth was a Moabite, Moabitess, but that didn't stop her from worshiping the true God. Nor did it stop her greatly. The Jews were not the only people who loved God. Well, why would you make mention of that? One of the things that I've, I've done and I do from time to time, I make donations to folk that are in need. Not because I have so much, but because I'm so grateful for what I do have. Amen. That there are times when I want to share yeah. right. what I have. Right. I was looking at, and you know they always run in the mass, and a lot of times I'm up late because I pretty much sleep early and then I wake up. <laughs> and they were showing these ladies uh, they were Jewish and they, the lady was crying and saying there's nothing in the refrigerator uh -huh. she had no food to eat and I just assumed that they had a welfare system similar to ours that, you know, fed folk and so forth, but apparently they don't. You get too old to work, you don't eat. 
And thanks be to God, we have a different system yeah. in place. So, I sent a donation. I got a voice back in Hebrew. Translated. It basically said, Thanks for being so kind and caring. We greatly appreciate your generosity. Amen. And I'm thinking, Generosity, I did that thing. I ain't really give you nothing. I just. Just appreciate it. Amen. But then I think about that sometimes. When we as Christians say that we trust God, it ought to be sometimes when you feel compelled to do something for somebody, Amen. even though you don't know who they are. Amen. Amen. You ought to feel like every now and then, I, I, and I know it's, it's probably not the same thing to do. But you know, I can drive by them guys standing on the corner, panhandling. I can pass by them and pass by them. And then one day it's like, okay, you got to do something. You got to get on something. That's what you mean. You can't keep passing by. You got to get on something. I got to clear my conscience. Yeah. I'm not worried about them. I don't care what you're going to do with it. I'm going to give it to you now. Now, you might have a Bentley sitting around the corner. But you're out here with a sign saying you need help. And I have yet to suffer for doing so. Bruce says here that I will go. That was a faith decision. Bruce said to Naomi, Wherever you go, uh -huh. I'll go with you. Right. Now, in order to have that kind of faith, it means that you have seen something in that individual yeah. that makes you want to be just like, you want to be like Mike? <laughs> no. All right. Come on. Then you all don't want to be like Jesus. Amen. Bruce said, a more perfect surrender we friends. We've been together. Uh -huh. I've seen what you've gone through. Yeah. I've seen how you have maintained your integrity All right. in spite of what has happened to you in your life. Well, Lord. And I've made this decision because I have faith in you. I see what you are doing. Mm -hmm. Your God is going to be my God. Yeah. Yeah. Your country is going to yeah. be my God. Yeah. Wherever you reside, that's where I stay. Because mm -hmm. I got faith in you. Yes. Yes. I trust you. Yes. Yes. I thought about something. I thought about something that happened many years ago. And I didn't vouch for this individual, but because we were friends and the guy that he was trying to get to help him knew me. He said, Robson, I trust you. Yeah. If you say do it, I'm going to do it. All right. I told him, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. And I'll be, he said, no, no, you ain't going to be responsible for it. I'm going to do it because I trust you. Now, if he messed up, then you know I ain't gonna help it no more. I don't understand that because we mess up. I ain't gonna help it. Okay. No more. Okay. <laughs> she said, I've seen your good example. Amen. And I want to be like, have you ever had somebody to say that when they when they grow up, they want to be like you? Yeah. I had that happen to me once and that that kind of made me straighten up a little bit. All right. 
young boy said, when I when I get when I get born, I'm gonna be just like you. And I'm like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> you won't be like me. Yeah, I know I know I got I got this, I got this nice ride and all that good stuff. But boy, you don't wanna be like me. Got a whole lot of stuff going on, you don't know nothing about. yourself this question. Has anyone decided to follow Jesus because of your lifestyle? Who said, wherever you go, I'm going. Wherever you live, that's where I'm going to leave. Whatever your country is, that's going to be my country. Whoever your God is, that's going to be my God. Has your life Influence somebody to try your God. All right. Oh, no. All right. I see how you live your life. Mm -hmm. I know what you've been through. You maintain your integrity in spite of. Mm -hmm. Has your lifestyle, without you ever mentioning the name, influenced them and asked them? They had to come to you and say, How do you? Do it. And that's your invitation to share the gospel story. Amen. I trust in the Lord. Yes. And I know no matter what I'm going through, he's going to bring it out all right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Has your lifestyle influenced somebody to try Jesus for themselves? She said, I'll go, and it's a love decision. Well, when you think about love, think about Rebecca mm -hmm. and what she said to her parents when Eleazar asked her to come and be the wife of Isaac. She said in Genesis 24 and 58, I'll go. Because you said you need me to go. Yeah. Genesis 24 and 28 says, then they called Rebecca and said to her, will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. I will go. Will not go with him. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'll go. You say I got a husband waiting on me. I'm out of here. All right mm -hmm. now. <laughs> well, you going to match that come? <laughs> Somebody you ain't never seen in your life. And you hook up with him, and then find out he'll serial kill him. <laughs> Why not try Jesus? Why not? Why not? Why not? She said, "I'll go. I'll go because you said you asked me would I go. Yes, I'll go. He's coming to get me to take me to my husband." How many of you have missed a husband because the guy didn't look like Charles Adams? All right. He didn't have muscles like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He didn't have money like Jay Z. What do you know or not, Jay Z? Love him. Yes, he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many of you have not have, have missed the blessing because you didn't make a love decision? Well, well. I love the Lord so much till so I'm willing to go. I'm willing to do what the Lord said do. And not work. Oh, I can't give that much. Oh, I can't make that kind of sacrifice. Oh, I can't do this and I can't do that. But if you love the Lord, yes. you ought to show some signs. Amen. I will go. Yeah. Now, why am I talking about that? 100 years. This church. 
this congregation came together, and we've been carrying it on. 100 years ago, it stopped. Somebody had to say, I'll go. Now we have to continue. I know young folk don't want to do long-term planning. But if you stay here long enough, you'll wish you had to done something. Long yeah, time yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Word, Doc. I will go. Well, you ain't seen this man. And yet you're talking about you'll go. And no doubt she was thinking to herself, I don't care what he looked like. It's better than being by myself. Well. Well, some of y'all don't know nothing about that. You know, y'all, y'all like the woman at the well. Jesus said, "Woman, where is thy husband?" And she said, "I ain't got no husband." Jesus said, "Thou hast spoke well." That's right. You know what time it was? You've been married five times, and the one you got now ain't yours. All right. Once is enough. <laughs> she made a decision based on love. I am consenting to go with this man because I believe that God is in the plan. Now, that, that's, that's critical. If you say the Lord sent then y'all ought to be able to get along. Amen. Now you say the Lord sent that individual to you, and y'all studied fussing and fighting and cussing and about to kill one another. You can't leave the house. He got a GPS tracker on your car. It's going too far now. It's going too far. somewhere 
And it was one of them real rough spots. As long as boat was with up, I couldn't boat. Responded to the young men by saying, 
name, I will go with you. I will go. Young men, his young protégés, they wanted him to go with them. They were going out, in my mind, on a missionary journey. And they needed their instructor to go along with them. Because they felt like we learned our lesson, but we need you to coach us. Yeah. When we get out there in the field, we need a, a coach along with us. So if we make a mistake, you can tell us how to correct it right there on the spot. Yeah. But I know some of us don't like being corrected. When we make a mistake, we want to just go on as though nothing ever happened. But I knew you say, if you cannot be corrected, then you cannot be led by the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will correct you when you get wrong. In other words, it will convict you of your faults. And if you don't want to feel convicted, then uh, you're in the wrong place. Because the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. And because the Spirit of the Lord is in here, when you do wrong, your conscience is going to worry you until you say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I've done wrong. Restore the joy of thy salvation. Too many of us in this modern time are not willing to get out of our comfort zone. You don't need to be comfortable in God's house. But what you need to be in God's house is feeling like I can't do enough. I ain't doing enough for the Lord. I need to go where he sent me. I need to come when he called me. I need to give when he say give. I need to do what the Lord say do. We sing a song that said, I'm going to do what the Lord say do. In the song we say, I tried gambling. But it didn't work. I tried lying, but it didn't work. I tried everything under the sun, but it didn't work. I got to do what the Lord say do. You see, when I was running from the Lord, when I was running, didn't want to preach in word. I did everything under the sun. But I didn't find any peace until I said, Lord, here I am. Send me out, go. You need to tell somebody in this confused world that there ain't nothing like Jesus. Can't nobody do what Jesus does. He is the Son of Man. He's the one that died out of Calvary. He's the one that made the sun stop shining. He's the one that called the moon to drip down in blood. He's the one that hung his head in the locks of his shoulder. He died. Then the earth stopped kneeling and rocking. He died to the soldier confess your name. This must be the Son of God. He went down in a borrowed tree. The reason he borrowed it, because he said, I don't need it very long. I just need it for three days. Because in three days, I will rise again. I stopped by to tell you. You ought to be willing to go, cause he got up early one Sunday morning. He got up out of water and rain. He got up with all power. Oh, he got up with all power. 
say about us. Churches, at the very least, should have a life insurance policy on whoever is pastor. And if the pastor so paranoid, because they all got this big life insurance policy on him, that he's scared y'all gonna bump him over. <laughs> y'all need to get rid of him. Sometimes you just gotta have faith. Amen. That's true. So true. Now, a lot of these big buildings you see that there is Lutherans and others have because their members actually bought the life insurance policy so that when they were gone, the church would receive that money to help the church continue. One to marry you, and one for your church to make sure your church, when they lose your generosity, that it will continue. Because they got it now. When you reach a certain age, life insurance is very expensive. That's why you have to get it while you're young. Because it can be expensive. Because what I'm paying, if I got that 20 years ago, over 10 years. But <laughs> it takes 
certain tragedies to happen in our lives for us to understand the value of certain things. All right. When you see someone that you know, well, we have one of our members here at this church and had a life insurance policy for decades. Change, but I, cause I had turned life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lord bless me. I said, that, that, you done paid all of that money all yes. that year, yeah. and when you need it, yeah. that's right. That's that's a whole nother. <laughs> that's right. Malachi in the third chapter, beginning at verse six, you can find these words recorded. I am the Lord and I change it. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my orders, and I'm not kept you. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. But you said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. You have cursed with a curse. For ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I were not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before us. For his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, glory, majesty, dominion, and power, now and forever. And all the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Amen.
Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good day.